Buddy, I'm sorry. You are sorry for what? For the way I treated you all those years. Okay, yeah, stand up. Oh, what was that? My love. Your love? What the? Man, you must really love me. Oh, I really do. That's how I love. Jimmy style. Servus Freunde, my name is Jimmy Cage and I'm Dennis, the Buddy Meister. We have reviewed almost 500 indie movies on the channel and once a month all of our awesome supporters can choose in a movie poll which movie we should review next. Mm -hmm. The newest poll is already up as well, this time it's all about actor Sunny Deol. The options are Borda, Gayal and Jeet. The last poll was of course all about Bravas and the movie that won is titled Mirchi, which translates to chili or fiery or spicy. And this movie celebrates its 10 year anniversary this year. It came out in 2013. It's a Telugu language action drama, the directorial debut of Kulatala Savi, who also wrote. Shiva. Shiva. Or Shiva, probably. Yeah. Uh, that's probably just my mistake here. Yeah. No. Shiva, not Savi, who also wrote a screenplay. We know him from his 2018 film, Bharat Aninenu, which we watched and reviewed a long, long time ago. Mm. Yeah. I think uh, I give it up to you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, yeah. The movie starring Prabhas, yes. Risha, Gango Badiai, Anushka Shetty and Subaraju. It was remade in Kannada, in Bengali and in Odia. And we probably have to watch the Kannada version because Sudeep is yeah. uh, playing the role of and Prabhas. And I think he also directed it. He also directed it, yeah. I think so, yeah. So first I want to say it was quite a chore to find this movie in an uncut version. We were yeah. like juggling three different versions. Yeah, yeah. One was There cut. are two on YouTube. Yeah. One in great quality, 4K, but yeah. unfortunately that version is cut. Yeah, but it but it yeah, but it not has, com it is not completely cut. There's some scenes in there that are cut from another version, yeah. but then there are some black and white scenes and then are there are cut scenes. Yeah. So yeah, we had to like watch a not in the best yeah, quality little version. Bit blurry version. Yeah, but it was uncut. Yeah, and that's that's the important part. Yeah. 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 It got an A for adults only mm -hmm. because there are some violent yeah. moments in the movie. And yeah, please continue. Yeah, so uh the movie is what it's about what is it about? It's about a man that returns to his country and village in order to reform his girlfriend's violent family but he seems to have a strange connection to the village and a rather dark past yeah of course he has <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, so yeah so yeah, yeah. yeah. so uh, jimmy. jimmy yeah that's me i think this was a big and fun masala entertainer that i enjoyed <laughs> for the most part mm -hmm. i mean i knew going into this movie what it would be like and when you watch the movie, the first five minutes, you immediately know, yeah, this will be a very silly movie. I mean, the introduction of Prabhas, who is the young rebel star. <laughs> the young yeah. rebel star. At least he was at the time. He was at the time. Now he's <laughs> just a rebel star. Can yeah. you be a rebel for 10 years? I don't know. At least you can't be young that, that long. <laughs> uh, in Bollywood. Well, or not Bollywood, in, in, in Tollywood. You can, maybe. Or in the movie industry in general, you can. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's clear from the get-go this, that this will be an over-the-top masala movie. And uh, it has all the typical ingredients. Yeah. Uh, charismatic, ass-kicking lead, who is just better than everyone else, just by default. Then uh, we have two beautiful love interests, because one isn't enough in movies like this. Of course. We have two very distinct halves. One woman in the first half, then the other woman in the second half. We get, of course, with a big twist in the middle, a super long flashback that makes up almost the entirety of the second half. Some goofy comedy. We got, of course, a famous comedian, um, Brahman Brahmanandam, Brahmanandam, who comes in every now and then with mm -hmm. some goofy, uh, goofy bits. <laughs> we have a lot of brawls, a lot of yeah. action, and a lot of song and dance sequences with a, I have to say, pretty kick-ass soundtrack by Devi Sudi Prasad. Yeah. So overall, I will talk about the stuff that I didn't like that much, that didn't really work that well for me. But overall, I thought that the, the package, the whole package, mm -hmm. it was very entertaining. 
Yeah, well, I agree. <laughs> I, I, I was a bit anxious at first. I mean, we both liked Barat Aninenu quite a bit. It wasn't like... Yeah. I think it was quite early in our yeah. exploration I of think Indian cinema. Today we were would be kind a of, bit we were, more critical. Yeah, now. we're kind of like overwhelmed by Barat Aninenu. Yeah. But by now we're accustomed to these movies. And so, yeah, I was anxious, but... Mirchi was it was yeah like you said it's fun it's it's entertaining it has good action it has good that good dynamic and yeah, I like the characters and I like this whole setup with this mm. um, with these rival family clans yeah. in this in this village and yeah it has the quite typical issues that I or we mm. like often have with uh, these masala entertainers I think so I think yeah. but. In general, it's 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 a it's a good package. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a good movie, and yeah, I yeah, nice. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you yeah. next week. <laughs> but yeah, but, but what I have to say, it, like, it's one of those movies that has like the right amount of like excessiveness. It has the right amount of this over exaggerated portrayal yeah. of the world, of the people, of the way they like almost like scream everything in anger because they're yeah angry so yeah it, it has the right amount of that so yeah yeah i mean <laughs> yeah i enjoyed the first half quite a bit i have to say mm -hmm. in the beginning you have to get in tune with the movie you have to by now we know it's a commercial it's not just a commercial movie it's a commercial telugu movie yeah, yeah and with these big commercial telugu movies i sometimes feel as if the people here the characters They don't act like actual human beings. Everything is so artificial. Yeah. How they talk, how they talk in English. It sounds so mm -hmm. bizarre at times. And um, the, the sound mixing, sometimes everything yeah. is super silent. And how people on the street are walking, it's so stiff. Everything yeah. is a little bit odd. And especially if <laughs> we're in a different country. I think that also adds mm -hmm. to that artificial quality. Yeah. <laughs> and in the beginning, we're in Italy. Yeah. And everything's a little bizarre. But I like this um, this approach that we have a hero who doesn't just want to beat everyone up, but he's mm. like, love will conquer everything. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you have to fight with love. Yeah, you and have then, to spread goodness. Yeah. yeah. And and still, we get the action because in the beginning, he tells like, I will do that and he will do that. It's super silly, but it's Yeah, this it is Sherlock Holmes style. Yeah, like, like Sherlock he, Holmes. He tells the villain what he's yeah. going to do in the next... This is how it's going yeah, down. Yeah. And then they are, oh, oh he's probably right. And, uh, <laughs> and then, yeah, it's, it's and, enough. And, he, and, 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 and the villain says... Love all. He's just, <laughs> yeah. he's just instantly convinced instantly. by Jay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's it's really, really fun. Yeah. And did the movie, especially in the first half, remind you of another Telugu movie that we watched a long time ago? Because for me, probably, yeah, it but absolutely I... did. One movie in specific, but I also watched it again just like last year. An SS Raja movie. Ah, Mariada Ramana, you mean? Yeah, of course, Mariada yeah. Ramana, mm -hmm. because that movie was also about this violent family feud mm -hmm. and also doing kind of an ironic approach mm -hmm. to that situation, a comedic approach. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not a gritty action movie and everything super yeah. serious, but it's violent, but also fun. And there's this hero in that other movie. It's uh, Sunil yeah. who just wants to survive. Mm -hmm. And here it's Brabas who is like, um, yeah, love is more important. And then when he gets back to India and he goes to that family of the yeah. first love interest, it's the same set. It's, it's the same, it's set, the same yeah, house. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mariada Ramana is two years older. It came mm -hmm. out in 2010. This is 2012. And yeah, in both movies, I really like this cartoonishly archaic way of the the brute men yeah, yeah. who are just fighting. It's so stupid. Just always angry. Yeah, super stupid. But the movie knows that this behavior is stupid. Yeah, the movie no also knows that it's fun to watch mm -hmm. and it gives us the the stupid stuff. Mm -hmm. And the women, of course, are at home. They are like in a cage. Yeah. And there's even that one scene where he says like, "Hey, let's go on a vacation." Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like. The, all of that, ele all of these elements in the in the in the first half, I liked it a lot. Yeah, and I think the, the well, the movie, a, a lot of a lot uh, of stuff happens really really fast. So yeah, yeah. The, the build up of all this, how Jay gets to know Manasa, how yeah, they are yeah, in yeah. Milan, yeah, um, how they turn back to village, how he, how he gets to know Purna, yeah, the, and like turns him into a nice guy, <laughs> yeah. and Purna is. Uh, The, the guy from exactly this village because he's uh, rel uh, related to We also Manasa. know the actor, by the way, from Lida. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he, and he's related to Manasa and then he 
gets to the village and all of that stuff happens like a 20 minutes yeah, yeah super fast but uh, yeah it's but, a lot yeah but it's 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 kind of working because it's, it's fun and it's intriguing like how will this story go on because yeah. you you kind of know that all this like um exposition with Jai and Manasa is like only leading up to the real story. And I think they they I say so. Not, they uh, they, they, yeah. they even say so in one song. Now the real story starts oh, yeah, or something yeah, yeah, like that, this. That, yeah, that's right. But the, the twist was uh, was a surprise for me. I have to say. But yeah. coming coming yeah. back to yeah. uh, to the beginning, it's just also funny how he's on the campus yeah and again yeah, it's it this works. ironic approach like men are only beating each other up on the campus and yeah. any boozing yeah, immediately <laughs> on the yeah. campus they like <laughs> yeah and then when, yeah. when the uh, when he turns the, the the one guy around and his friends are like what are we doing now we mm -hmm. need someone who's boozing with us stuff like that it's <laughs> yeah. so so silly but the movie knows <laughs> that and i really enjoyed that yeah. but then of course the real story kicks in mm -hmm. or uh, at that point it already did but there's a big twist in the have at the halfway point yeah. of the movie and we will go into spoilers now it's yeah. a movie that's 10 years old but we really have to talk about the second half in order because yeah. that's also where a lot of my critique is coming yeah. in or stuff that just didn't work that well and yeah there's this yeah yeah no go yeah. on yeah yeah, yeah there's yeah. this so he's before the twist he's yeah. coming back to india and he tries to turn the whole family around and show them the way of love yeah and um and he succeeds in part he succeeds in part yeah but then another character is introduced <laughs> from the other family um vera i think his um i won't i didn't want to say it right now but we we see the other family you mean the other woman no, no, no. The, the 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 head of the family of the other family De De deva deva his name deva what yeah. did i say Vera. Oh no, it's it's Deva. Deva Maybe, played by yeah. Satya Raj, who's yeah. uh, Katapa. Who's Katapa? <laughs> At first, I didn't recognize him, but then I was yeah, like, yeah. I know that face. Yes. But he looks so much younger here. Yeah. Almost like is that really the father of? Uh, him? But yeah, it uh, yeah, it's, it's Katapa. Um, he's introduced. I wasn't really sure who that is and mm -hmm. what's happening right now. <clears throat> but then we get a big action sequence, and all of a sudden, at the halfway point of the movie, Prabhas is kicking a lot of ass. Yeah. And is. Uh, Killing a lot of people. A lot of people. A lot of people on both sides, but uh, you, yeah. you don't. You don't quite get, uh, before the revel revelation. You don't yeah. quite know what it's about. Yeah, uh, yeah, and then it's, then it's the revelation. But the whole yeah. sequence is a lot of fun. Also, mm -hmm. how he's uh, pushing the car into another direction, and uh, it's yeah. cartoonish. And it's, it's like it's like executed well. I thought. Yeah. I mean, the action is over the top, of course. Yeah, and uh, like we said, the movie is kind of rough around the edges in many departments. Sure. But the action was very well shot and yeah. very entertaining. So it's yeah. not like uh, uh, sure. not boring or so. Yeah. yeah. And then bam, we get the big twist that he had to save his family because the other family, he is part of that family. He's actually yeah. the son of Deva, of, of mm -hmm. Deva, of Katapa's character. Oh, no, not Katapa's character. <laughs> <laughs> Katapa. What's, what's the name? De Sat uh, Sat Satyaraj. Satyaraj. Yeah. yeah, Satya Raj plays uh, Deva, Jai's father, as we <laughs> learn then. Uh, Jay, not Jai, Jay. Jay's father. And um, yeah, and then we get a giant flashback that's uh, making up the almost the entirety yeah. of the second half, mm -hmm. in which he is explaining who he really is. Yeah. And uh, that part, it's probably rather simple, but it's executed it's told in a way i was a little bit confused because we get a flashback and then we get a flashback in a that flashback, flashback. Yeah, yeah. and i was a little bit confused how the timeline really worked mm -hmm. out because i was like when is the time that he's in europe in italy when's that happening i was mm -hmm. a little bit confused because of course he also looks the same age yeah, 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 in yeah, both sure. timelines yeah, yeah. So you don't know when that, that, that it can't be like that much time that that was in between yeah. there, but yeah. But I was thrown off too. Yeah, yeah. especially when the flashback ends. I totally forgot about it. <laughs> when the flashback really? okay. ends and he stands at this window with Manasa and tells her, "And that's who I am." Okay. I totally forgot that we are in the flashback, and I I wasn't I really didn't know where I was at that point. I had oh, okay. to skip. I had to skip back in the movie to watch the, what. When did where you? are we here? Where are we? And, and yeah, but yeah, we, we yeah, can talk I, about the flashback. I had it's... a different experience <laughs> because I um, <clears throat> paused the movie a few times to get something to drink. Yeah. And then I saw like, it's only like 20 minutes and we are still in the flashback. And I was like, 
uh, I hope that they are, I don't know, pulling this off at the very end because we have to go back to the present yeah. and we have to go back to the first love interest and when's that going to happen? And then it's only like 10 to 15 minutes that mm -hmm. they spend with, yeah. with all mm -hmm. of that stuff. And I think that's a little bit a flaw of the movie. We can talk about that later. But um, yeah, the, the second half is this giant flashback. Um we don't have to go through the whole story. If you have seen the movie, you know what's yeah. happening. But for me, what didn't work that well in this movie is Prabhas is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I think Prabhas is doing a really cool job here. He's he's fun when he needs to be fun. He's yeah. fierce when he needs to be fierce. He's um, kind of a goofball at times, yeah. a little bit of a dog. When he speaks English, it's so silly. Like, <laughs> come on, dude! It's so <laughs> how they are talking. It's yeah. it's all exaggerated and fun. And Prabhas is really brings a lot of charm to this film. Absolutely, yeah. But the character arc is like you have to just accept that this is a big masala movie and it's not really a deep movie because the character uh, spends his life like twenty years with his mother then goes back to his father, becomes yeah. super violent because mm -hmm. his father um, is treated in a bad way and he's taking revenge and he... Yeah, he's like this. Yeah, he's like this angry young man. He's who, this angry young man who, who, who wants to also wants to fight uh, the other family. Yeah, and yeah, but his father, of course, doesn't like this way of living. He, yeah. he, he wants to bring peace to the community. And then there's this wedding, wedding ceremony, this whole, this big massacre at the wedding. Yeah, then there's this, this big massacre because um, until he came back to his father, the situation was kind of okay. Yeah. The father did succeed in, I don't know, establishing kind of a truth be between the yeah. between the families. But then he came back and yeah, then there's this big massacre. It's a great sequence. Mm -hmm. It's really a strong sequence. But his mother... Uh, Jay's mother, yeah. was his character's mother, gets killed, and um, then his father um, yeah, yeah, disowns him, him and yeah. uh, kicks yeah. him out of the mm. house and tells him he wished that he wasn't even born yeah. and he has to go. And then, then uh, all the stuff from the first timeline, part, yeah. yeah. Then he's going to Italy, but for me, yeah. it was so so bizarre because when you have seen the entire film and you think about the film, it's like. His mother died. He lost his love, um, An Anushka Shetty's. Yeah, Vanilla. Vanilla. Mm -hmm. He lost her. Mm -hmm. She's still alive, but he lost her. He was kicked out by his father. He's going to Europe. But when we see him at the beginning of the movie, he's this happy, go yeah, lucky guy yeah. with the music instrument yeah. and preaching the way of love. And for me, that was just kind of bizarre. Mm -hmm. And then also, before the twist, he's. He's killing a lot of people to save his family. And I thought, yeah, it's a great sequence. But in hindsight, if that is really his character, shouldn't he try it in a different way? I mean, later on, he talks like there are moments where you have to be a fighter and then he is a fighter mm -hmm. and moments where it's all about love. But he's really killing killing all those yeah. people. And for the movie, At first great, I thought he's just like hurting them. So like, so like yeah. Batman in this in this yeah, mode that he's not killing people, necks, but he's killing a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. I thought, oh, maybe he's just breaking their bones. But no, he kills yeah. a lot of them. So this whole yeah. this whole character arc was a little bit yeah. It's, yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's also <laughs> odd because he has like this arc with Manassa in 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 in, in, in Italy. Yeah, and falls in love with it's her. It's another part. It's and but he's kind of still in love with Venela, yeah. Anushka Shetty's character. So at that point when he's in Italy and when he's like wooing her and interfering with her life and of yep. course manipulating the whole like bad family with Uma and uh, all those all those brutes. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's still in love with Venela yeah. um, um, at that point, but he's yeah, like manipulating Manasa into loving him or like yeah. because he interferes with her getting married and she tells him that he loves him. Well, it's a bit strange because yeah, yeah it, it doesn't fit like this happy-go-lucky character who's probably um, a good, maybe a good guy who loves mm. the woman that he once loves, but now he has another woman, yeah. and it's like uh, it's yeah, it didn't. Bit, it didn't it's, sit. A, it's a bit weird. It doesn't the, the, the puzzle. It, it doesn't fit. All yeah, the parts it, don't it, fit. It didn't sit yeah. right with me because um, Manasa is just so casually dropped by the movie. I mean, we yeah. have seen this often with Masala movies with yeah, the first the half and the issue, second. Yeah. That uh, the, the, the female character is basically just yeah. dropped and not important anymore. 
But here she's really dropped and we mm. get a whole different love interest. Yeah. I mean, Anushka Shetty is doing a great job. So yeah. She's awesome in the movie. But it was weird because at the very end, it's also not just like Manasa is really sad. Yeah, she's she's just... more like, ah, okay, now I understand yeah. who you are. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah. and then at the very end, he's uh, coming back together with uh, Vanilla. 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 The and everything is happy. And I was, I was happy as well. But at the same time, I was like, yeah, this... So yeah, superficial it's, 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 and so yeah, it's one of these yeah. c- classic issues with this structure that a lot of yeah. these movies have that people just disappear in the in, yep. the, in the second half. I was also kind of it was kind of sad that uh, Purna, the the guy he transformed from yeah, bad yeah. guy, that, that he disappeared because I like Subaraj. Yeah, uh, he's a, he's a he's a nice character. Always he's always on the phone. For yeah. he's in there for a few good laughs. Yeah, uh, also this a lot of scenes that he has with uh, Brahmanandam that are quite fun. Yeah. Uh, but he disappears and suddenly reappears. Yeah. And I had also just wrapped my head around how Jay made it work that nobody of these folks ever like uh, yeah. recognized him because either he was cloaked in some kind or he mm. attacked from behind. And it okay, it makes sense to me. Yeah, like, yeah. Didn't make a big thing out of it, but I was like, this, this, I, I don't know. Also, uh, also strange is that Uma, the, the bad guy, the father, mm. uh, who's like, oh, I have to kill them all, who's like, oh, this guy, he uh, like disappears in the yeah. flashback because um, another guy takes over that's like the main bad guy. And that was also strange because yep. all the things that we like, yeah, that, that I liked about the first act were just gone. Mm. And it just reappeared for the last 15 minutes for yeah. the great showdown. That yeah. yeah, There are also really, like you said, a lot of characters in both families. Yeah. I mean, at now, uh, right now we have seen so many movies that we recognize the faces and it's cool. Ah, I mm-hmm. know that guy from somewhere. I know that guy from somewhere. But they are not very memorable. Even the, the, the main antagonist, I yeah. don't think he's that memorable. He has a cool introduction sequence in the... In the flashback yeah. in the first half. Yeah. But he's not uh, fleshed out that well. I mean, everything is he's quite he- cartoonish, so it's all right. But because of that, I didn't really feel the mm-hmm. big emotions. I wasn't yeah. like invested that deeply into the mm-hmm. whole story and characters. Yeah. And I just think the second half, it's really how these big Indian movies are built mm-hmm. with the flashback and stuff like that. But it's just not elegant it's really yeah. the storytelling is so you have to wrap your head around it and it's not or it doesn't feel that organic yeah and i think elegant is a is a yeah. good word because like, like like we said it's still such a rough movie it's yeah. entertaining and then for me it was entertaining on a high level yeah but yeah you have to you have to you have to like say to yourself all of this is just yeah it's just there for entertainment and not yeah. to make you think about anything yeah, yeah. Um, still still the, the message even if it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's silly bit. with the love but i like that the, this is a message in an action movie like this it's about that they talk about manhood at the end yeah and what kind of man do you want to be and i like that even in this big it's huge true. commercial movie and it was a big success at the box office mm-hmm. and with so much uh, toxicity and stuff like that i think it's nice that the movie has this message at its heart even if it's of course still a brutal violent action movie. yeah that's but true i think this this uh, irony and this um little meta element even i think that makes the movie stand out mm-hmm. and makes it more memorable yeah it's true it's true and i also liked i actually liked the finale quite a bit mm-hmm. where he's just uh, standing with uma in this um in this, yeah like like a dual dual yeah. thing in, in the yard in the, yeah. in the courtyard and yeah, and the, the 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 uncle who's paralyzed like stands up and says something, <laughs> yeah, and they all drop their weapons, and it yeah. says it's epic in a very very over exaggerated way. Mm. But I, I I think it kind of worked on me. I said, yeah. this is that's a really nice because yeah. I think the editing was quite nice. It was like in a in a western, mm. uh, and it, it worked. It even worked a little bit emotionally on me. Like okay. it's, oh, it's nice. Like because they were screaming all this, it's doing for love and it's, all this <laughs> stuff. It's so it's so over the top. It's, it's yeah. it works. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I would have liked it if it uh, spent maybe ten. 15 minutes more with the finale in the present day yeah. because it felt a little bit 
rushed and we are oh now we are back here and we have to um, resolve everything so so quickly but yeah, yeah it's still it's still fun and i liked it when uh, jay's father is appearing as well of course and mm -hmm. yeah we get this it's big it. happy end darling we haven't talked about darling yeah that's the, <laughs> one of the yeah, songs nice, nice segue <laughs> we have to talk about the soundtrack by devi's three yeah. Prasad, which i think is a lot of fun mm -hmm. in the beginning i was a little bit um <laughs> anxious because i thought oh this might be one of those rather stupid and kind of bland soundtracks yeah the, I, I mean, mean the first song is the, 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 i don't know what the, the first song is this yahoo and yahoo thing, thing yeah with like they're, uh, they're, life is fun and everything's and yeah. it's like the, the lyrics are and pretty the lyrics like uh, let's party indian style yeah, yeah. Think, oh my god how all this, the people what come to it? come down to the floor and yeah. something like this and the, the lyrics are stupid but the but this this the the, the song itself the sound was yeah. kind of nice yeah and yeah it got better it got, it got better, better and there's this cowboy the, song yeah there's this cowboy song <laughs> with the uh, Barbie girl, yeah, Barbie girl, baby, baby doll. doll, and of course, darling, darling, yeah, darling which is like an, that's so good that it's playing again in the end credits. You were, yeah, <laughs> and there's this Mirchi, the, like the theme song, which is uh, yeah, rather short. Unfortunately, it's only yeah. one and a half minutes, but when it appears in the movie, it's awesome because mm -hmm. he's going back to the village, yeah. and bam, we get this real banger, and mm -hmm. it's uh, great choreography, super fast. I mean, it's also cut in a way that's <laughs> often in these masala movies. That's just silly like split screen mirror image bam bam bam, yeah, bam. it's yeah. it's just fast for being fastness i, I mean yeah it's just, oh, oh, let's just show what technic technical yeah. stuff we can do it's here, like yeah. like upendra like uh, yeah, yeah with every beat we are doing a, a just doing edit. it for the sake of it yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but the, but the song itself it's pretty awesome yeah. and um there's a love song that's pretty nice Mm -hmm. And then, like, only 10 minutes later, we get the Darling yeah, song, yeah. I think, mm -hmm. which was a little bit strange to me, that two songs in so mm -hmm. close proximity. But um, there's also a song, I'm, I'm not sure which one it was, but where he's spending time with his father again in the flashback. It was yeah. really, really nice. This montage where they, like, kind of talk about everything that happened in all yeah. those years. Yeah, yeah that, mm -hmm. that was really nice. So, yeah, overall, I really enjoyed the soundtrack. And, um, and the movie. And the movie, yeah, it's yeah. just, yeah, it's really just a good time. So, yeah, do you have anything else? And uh, and uh, one thing I can add, Brahmanandam has like this typical. We talked about it, like this typical top comedy scenes where yeah. he comes in and makes some jokes. Yeah, and I thought it was like we, we've seen movies where it's more distracting than here. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of it's kind of fine here. It's and still it's still not necessary for me personally, yeah, but sure, it's sure, it's sure. fine because yeah. there is some stuff with him and Purna, the bad guy, uh, Subaraj. Which is really fun, where he says like oh, he in, the early, in the early days, I was a was a was a harsh landlord. Are you mean the flashback? Yeah, yeah. I was a harsh landlord. But <laughs> now they he like beat him up, and that's it. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. was he was fun. It was yeah. so bizarre that he's now at the house as well. He wanted to he wanted to get away. <laughs> yeah, and he, he paid like I don't know how much, and then he's at like, the same place with him again. It's like this <laughs> little side story that's really fun. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's fun also because. Um, he is like uh, he's like, he's not like the narrator, but he knows more than the other characters. Yeah, yeah. He knows that Jay is playing all of them. Yeah, and I, that's I true. thought that was mm -hmm. fun. Like uh, he's playing everyone. Like he reminds the audience, and yeah, he's like an like an outsider watching the movie with us. Kind mm -hmm. of. And there was this really bizarre special effect at the very end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, what would you say in German about Mirchi? Mirchi hat mir erstaunlich viel Spaß gemacht. Die Schauspieler spielen herrlich zügellos und die Geschichte mit den rivalisierenden Familien ist ebenso herrlich exzessiv erzählt. Trotz der Länge habe ich mich keine Minute gelangweilt. Very nice. Mirchi ist wunderbar unterhaltsames und durchgeknalltes Masala-Vergnügen, das mir vor allem dank Prabas, dem wahnwitzigen Soundtrack und der ironischen Note gefallen hat. We didn't even talk about the guy who wants to marry Anushka Shitty's character. Who, who comes in and says, I killed six people in the other village. <laughs> <That was laughs> oh, no, no. You mean, yeah, that guy was also fun. But I mean, the it's one like who's a reference, living, yeah. I mean, the one who's living with oh, her. Oh, yeah. You mean the guy who's like always uh, with her to tell other guys to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Because he, he, he says, ah, I'm marrying her. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I thought he was fun too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought That's you mean the guy who we brags about how many people he killed. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. So, so, trivia time. No, rating no. time. Oh, rating time, you're right. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy. I give Mirchi 7 out of 10. It's more like 6.7, but I don't do that. 
For me, it's also a 7 out of 10. It's more like 7.3, but I don't do that either. Trivia time. Trivia time. Did you know that Prabhas' real or full name is Upalapati Venkata Suryanarayana Prabhas Raju? Now I know. Yeah. Prabhas. Prabhas, nice. So please let us know in the comments below what you think about Mirchi. And you can hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Letterboxd, and also on Patreon, simply at the Jimmy Cage. And you can hit me up on Twitter or X <laughs> at the Buddy Meister. And if you enjoyed this episode, please give us a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like. And make sure you hit that bell for all we have to tell.